were killed and at least 34 other people have been wounded in shootings across Chicago since Friday evening. With temperatures pushing into the 90s throughout the weekend, 30 people were shot in less than 9 hours from Saturday evening to Sunday morning. Nine people were shot about 3.15 a.m. Sunday in the Lawndale neighborhood, according to Chicago police. They were gathered in the 3300 block of West Douglas when a black vehicle approached and people inside fired shots. A 17-year-old boy was shot in the buttocks, another 17-year-old boy was shot in the hand, a 22-year-old man was shot in the ankle. A 23-year-old man was shot in the back, a 29-year-old man was shot in the hip, a 30-year-old man was shot in the lower leg, a 33-year-old woman was shot in the leg and a 35-year-old man was shot in the leg, police said. All eight victims were taken to Mount Sinai Hospital, where their conditions were stabilized. A ninth victim, a 26-year-old man was shot in the leg and taken to Rush Oak Park Hospital, where his condition was stabilized. A police source said several of the victims are documented gang members and the shooting appears to be gang-related. The weekend's latest homicide happened at 3.13 a.m. Sunday in the back of the Yards neighborhood on the south side. Three men, ages 20, 22 and 33, were standing on the sidewalk in the 5,300 block of South Sealy when someone in a vehicle fired shots, striking them all in the body. The youngest man was pronounced dead at the scene, police said. The 22-year-old was taken in critical condition to Strager Hospital, while the oldest man was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital, where his condition was stabilized. Less than two hours earlier, a man was killed in a Humboldt Park neighborhood shooting on the west side. The 29-year-old was standing on the sidewalk at 1.28 a.m. in the 1000 block of North Monticello when someone in a gray vehicle opened fire, striking him in the chest. He was taken to Norwegian American Hospital, where he was pronounced dead, police said. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office did not immediately provide information on either of those fatalities. About 6.45 p.m. Friday, 21-year-old Louis Chemnus was killed in a Belmont Central neighborhood shooting on the northwest side. He was driving in the 5700 block of West Belden when people in a dark-colored car fired shots at him, according to police and the Medical Examiner's Office. Chamna's car then slammed into a parked car and flipped onto its side. He was shot in the chest and taken to Loyola University Medical Center in Maywood, where he died at 7.28 p.m. Chamna's lived in the Belmont Gardens neighborhood. Ninety minutes earlier, a man from the western suburbs was gunned down in the west side Austin neighborhood. Romaine Lelkins, 18 was standing outside about 5.15 p.m. in the 1,500 block of North Lenter when people in a dark-colored SUV opened fire in his direction and he was shot in the chest, authorities said. The Naperville resident was taken to Loyola University Medical Center, where he died at 5.52 p.m. after the shooting, the SUV sped west on Lemoyne and crashed into another vehicle, police said. A 71-year-old woman in the other vehicle suffered injuries in the crash, but was listed in good condition. The weekend's latest non-fatal shooting happened Sunday afternoon in the Little Village neighborhood on the southwest side. The 19-year-old man was walking in the 4100 block of West 30th Street at 12.47 p.m. when he heard shots and felt pain, police said. He was shot in the left shoulder and taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where his condition stabilized. Shortly after 2 a.m. Sunday, two men, ages 28 and 30, were involved in the argument on the Chicago River Walk near Wacker and Dearborn in the Loop, when shots rang out, police said. The younger man was shot in the right leg, while the older man suffered a gunshot wound to the left foot. They were both taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where their conditions were stabilized. Witnesses at the busy intersection said they heard at least three gunshots. Chicago police could be seen investigating along the Riverwalk, underneath the Dearborn Street Bridge. At least 20 more people have been wounded in shootings across the city since 5 p.m. Friday. 30 people were shot in Chicago last weekend, 
five of them fatally.